Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to continue on the previous example how to create surface geometry based on the boundary blend but today I'd like to focus on the usative curve for the definition of the shape so I will try to create a similar shape like last one let's see so we will start to scratch and surface 02 yeah, will be name of model and we will try to create same surface model as the last time so I will try to use the arc yeah, over here and maybe I will use the a little bit different steps and will be a little bit different this tutorial for today so you remember that last time I have used the sketch and then I have used the projection and so on and then we have created fill feature and some extent feature it was last time and at the end we are focusing on the boundary blend and then some additional analysis feature today I'd like to change a little bit steps for this modification and I'd like to project directly and what does it mean that if you do not have created a sketch you need to create a sketch on demand so I'd like to use the functionality project with sketch and we will define the sketch directly in the projection curve feature so we will select the sketch plane and orientation plane in if I will come from middle button I can directly jump into sketch in the sketch we can specify the custom shape for example to a similar shape like last one so define your custom value and dimension and come from OK now the system asks you directly where is the surface so we need to select the surface over here and then again is necessary to select the direction so I like to select this reference tab here and select the necessary surface for the direction or datum plane yeah and if I will finish you can see that if I will unhide the system will yep yeah, sorry unhide the system will show me directly the necessary curve Good. we can continue so again we would like to use the functionality the trim and I like to trim as last time now I'd like to create the fill profile based on the sketch definite directly inside of the feature so I will select the fill profile and select sketch plane and over here we would like to create our custom shape so yeah we can create the shape maybe we can close the loop or we have to yeah, because the fill feature have to use the closed loop and if you would like to centralize it it's not a problem because you can create a center line and then you can use the symmetrical constraint so it's only example that is possible to define your custom value in this feature and define your custom shape so okay if I will confirm the system create for me everything what I need and as the last time we would like to continue with definition of the vertex round so over here we can set some value yeah for example 45 since that is fine it's not intersection intersection here so I can confirm with middle button and on the bottom we can specify some small one so it's up to you if you will create this round feature directly in the sketch for the fill feature or you will create a round feature next as the next feature it's up to you and over here I'd like to focus like I mentioned that we would like to try to create the curves two points and you can see that if I will select the curve between two points the system will create straight line for me and then if I will select the tangency on curvature or normal the system asks me how I would like to use it but over here I'd like to see or show you that you can see that system will allow to you to select the surface for the tangency and again over here I will select the tangency and everything looks good but maybe you would like to orient the curve so over here maybe I can use like it is it's fine 
we can try to create the curve between these two points and again specify the tangency and on the bottom I'd like to specify tangency of the curve to this selected surface and again maybe it looks good so we can say right hand side will be definite with the surfaces and on the left hand side I like to use some curves for the orientation and over here I will create additional sketch and on this sketch I will create the line and over here maybe it will be good if I will show you that it's possible to create a line and right now you can see that this curve is going like this and maybe we would like to go a little bit straight yeah for example so only create a straight line nothing more only for the specification of the direction for the tangency or the curvature and again I like to do it on the opposite side so over here but again I need to use the projection so we would like to use the projection of the projection of sketch same as the previous example and over here again I'd like to project a necessary curves for example like this and again some dimension it's not necessary to specify the value but fine and we can see and or we will see the different of the orientation of the curve and maybe sorry maybe I can do it over here too so maybe I can orient the this curve in this direction I can come from OK and in the over here what we would like to do is select surface and projection yeah so everything is defined yeah our curves are definite here so perfect but I forgot on the second curve so I will select the definition and I will create the short edge here and maybe again you can specify your custom angle it's up to you yeah so if I will confirm I'd like to write now the create the curve between points so again create a curve between point and second point do not forget select the control button for selection more references and right now I like to create a tangency not to select that surface but select that curve and the system asks me which direction so I can click on the arrow and will be continue on this curve and again here if I will select the tangency to select that curve the system will continue with the curves yeah perfect so right now our second curve is definite by this orientation I think that would be again better to see on the second example if I will select the first point and second point and orientation again will be definite as the tangent to the selected curve and over here again as the tangent to selected curve and if I will select the normal view normal orientation you can see how our curves are oriented so it's absolutely different as the default what was definite here and what is really nice if you would like to change something yeah for example you would like to change this angle 66 for example 62 the system will change it maybe I will do it like 50 in second 50 and you can see that my second curve is definite by angle of this datum curve so I like to use this functionality a couple of times so if I will use the control G as the regenerate and control D for the default orientation yeah control D is default orientation if you lost your model you can use the control D and system will move it as the default orientation perfect and right now everything is defined these two curves was absolutely only for the orientation so I can hide it's not necessary to visible and again for example this curve I can hide because it's not necessary to see and last but not least is the definition of the boundary blend so if I will select the curves doesn't matter you know that is possible to select one by one with the shift button and then with the control button you will select the 
second curve and you need to continue but right now you can see that the preview or dynamic preview is sometimes not so suitable so you can use the that I don't want to see it here so no preview and you can continue with the shift button and you know that everything is fine here but if you would like to see it is not problem you can check again and back because everything is looks good and at the end you can specify that the IU would like to continue but for now you don't need to specify that, that you would like to go to tangency because in the second orientation I like to reuse these curves so over here is the second orientation and maybe we can try with the control button use the curves what we have specified and again maybe it will be better if I will hide the preview yeah, and put it back and what I miss you know that over here is the intersect point so you have to select this intersect point sorry I have to use the control button and if you will select this intersect point the system will allow to you to select the second orientation or the specification and maybe you can see right now that my selection was not so good so maybe I can remove the select selection of the second selection and maybe again I can remove this one and will be better if we will split this selection in the small pieces so first of all yeah you have to combine you see that I'm working as I need so what is possible to do I will do it and select and then continue so for me make more sense to create this shape like it is right now only these four curves selected in the second direction I will select with the shift button these curves and with control button and again continue with the shift button this one so right now everything's fine over here we can specify the tangency on the bottom you know that it's possible to define tangency and over here is nothing so it's free and if I will confirm the first part of surface is defined I will continue with boundary blend between first and second one what over here is the gap so you can select additional curve and then you can specify the tangency to the selected surface nice and again continue on the opposite direction so we can continue the boundary first direction control second direction if you would like to use the yep yeah, second curve selection you can use it here in the menu or as the second direction and then continue and specification of the tangency so select the tangency and then continue with selection of the tangency we can try to have a look here and maybe I have forgot if the system will select automatically you have dynamic preview if it is not possible the system ask you please select the options and control points and all these topics so over here in constraint you can see the tangency is selected and system select surface automatically I will check the previous surface yeah over here was free so no I don't want to use the free I will show you here it's free free tangent nope I like to use the tangency over here and on the bottom too perfect and right now looks great but you know that if you would like to use the thickness for example right now we have different surfaces so if I will select the quilt it's the connected surfaces you see this is the first quilt second quilt and additional quilt you can select these quilts all together and use the feature merge directly from the flyout menu or from the ribbon and the system will create or you can continue and select the additional one you don't need to select every surfaces in one place because sometimes it's not possible I think that in this example if I will select everything in one selection is fine and I can explain to you here if I will select the, def the definition for the merge you can see here that you can manage and set which surface is merged with second one yeah because you can set the order for the selected surfaces but sometimes it's better if you will create from the small group and bit one bigger one and then it's better okay 
Over here was the example how to create your custom shape and define base it on the custom curve. But you have seen that I have used the tangency. So one more time, I would like to jump into analysis tool. Over here is the curvature. And you know that if you will select the surfaces like this, the system will show you the curvature. Yeah, definition. If two definition in two direction is shaded curvature analysis. Yeah because the system make the analysis in the first direction and second direction and then you can see the connected surfaces and you can place play with the color and select that color so the system allow to you to manage and see the direct numbers what are used here and again if i will jump in the reflection you can see here the right now that connection between surfaces are only tangent it's it is not so smooth over here is always possible see here on the zebra reflection analysis it is not so nice but like I mentioned before if curve is definite as curvature the surface can be definite as curvature so right now you have to go one by one into edit definition and specify the curvature continue curvature and again over here you need to define the curvature yeah double line is here and edit definition and continue we can try it eh? we will see that how to definition of the analysis will be looks like at end and projection is not necessary to specify but these additional curves we would like to define as the curvature and again continue here come from middle button and last but not least is this definition curvature connection and again the bottom one perfect so what the system will do the system will create a really nice connection yeah because what does it mean if you have only tangency? Tangency means the dihedral angle between curves and surface is less than 5 degrees. But curvature is absolutely perfect shape. Okay, fine. And boundary blend. So if I will change the edit definition, right now the all curves are here are definite as the curvature. So the system can connect surface as the curvature. And again on the top, yeah, I can finish and you know that it's possible to continue and define curvature here and we can try the additional connected lines. Yeah, right now you see that it's not so suitable because the system will swap the surface. So this connection has to be only tangent. And if you don't want to swap the surface, you need to add more curves here and then the system will create again much smoother the definition of the shape so everything depend on the surfaces edges and curve what is used in the surface modeling perfect and right now last but not least is the reflection zebra analysis and if i will compare the same surface you can see that continues between surface top surface and back surface and connection between additional one is really nice and really smooth okay so over here was the additional example how it's possible to create in defined the surface in the cryoparametric by curves and definition of the tangency curvature and some feature most use it in the surface modeling please feel free to donate me and or take me a coffee and i will create for you additional really nice tutorials for creole modeling stay tuned and bye bye Vladimir.